We all know about the big day out for humans, but did you know about the big day out for dogs? The Big Day Out for Dogs is an annual event run by Dogs Victoria and is now in its fourth year running. Now, I'm a complete sucker for cute animals, in particular, dogs dressed as humans. So needless to say, this event is kind of like heaven on earth to me, and I'm not ashamed. But hey, this isn't just an event for humankind. There is plenty of action going on to keep your four-legged friends entertained. There are activities including agility, dances with dogs, lure racing, retrieving, and much more. No joke, there is even a waggiest tail competition. The main aim of the day is to celebrate and create awareness of differing breeds of dog. In fact, there is currently more than 40 different breeds of dog for us to meet and greet. Now, my favorite film is the James Belushi classic, K9, so we headed straight for the German Shepherds. So, Dan, why do you come to the Big Day Out for Dogs? Well, we come down here as the German Shepherd Dog Club yes. so that we can bring our dogs to give people an opportunity to see our dogs working, to give our dogs a chance to socialise with all the other breeds because as a breed club, we don't get that opportunity very often. Yeah. The tricks that our dogs have showed us, mm -hmm. we've gone around the obedience equipment through the tunnels and through the hoops yep. and that's to be able to get the dog to understand working with verbal command as well as hand signals. Mm -hmm. It's really important to be able to teach your dog to listen and we find the easiest way to do that is to do something that's fun because the dog's far more likely to keep on working with the handler when they're enjoying themselves. I like how it's all positive reinforcement too. It you is. don't yell at the dog if they screw up. There's never yeah. yelling. It's about, whoops, I've made a mistake. How can I go back? How can I fix this? How can I make it more fun for the dog so that the dog's not going to be distracted by whatever else happens around? Okay, today you're here with the uh, Lure Racing and Earth Dog Club of Victoria and we're having a demonstration lure race for all dogs, tall and tall dogs, small dogs, you name it, we'll race anyone. Um, it's kind of like watching the trots at the races, eh? There is, yeah, exactly <laughs> right, but without, obviously without the gambling edge and it's a lot more fun and any, everyone can get involved, so it doesn't matter what type of dog you got. What, what are the best dogs, I mean, what are the fastest okay, dogs? Okay, well mostly Jack Russells, they're yeah. the most keenest, yeah, because they love the lure, they love chasing the lure, they're, as you probably see, some of them don't want to give up the lure when they get it. <laughs> So that's one of the challenges. So they're probably one of the one of the most popular breeds. Yeah. But any small dog that loves that loves racing. Are there, um, are there sore losers? Uh, yes, there are sore losers. There are many yeah. dogs that uh, aren't happy if the other dog gets it. Particularly, you'll notice when they race, the guys coming last get a bit cut sometimes. And when they get here, they want to take it out on the other dogs. So they do get a bit emotional. Is there's there? no doubt about that. And there's prizes to be won. I hear. There is. Yeah, yeah. You can win prizes now. Normally in the club, that's actually. We race once a month and you get point scores and at the end you get trophies. Um, the trophies are always bigger than the dogs, <laughs> so it's always nice, you know. <laughs> so we're here with Deb and Helford, is it? Yes. What kind of dog is Helford? He's a Pyrenean mountain dog. Where did you find these? I've never even seen a dog like this before. I come across my first Pyrenean nearly 20 years ago now. Yeah? Mm. And you've been breeding them? Uh, yes, I've been breeding for probably the last four years. You were saying that they're kind of a bit addictive, aren't they? Oh, very. If you own one, you can't just have one. <laughs> yes, you end up with more. How many of you? How many do you have right now at present? I have five. Five? <laughs> yes. Because they end up being quite big. I That's mean... five adults, plus I have three puppies. <laughs> My goodness. Well, he goes today, so I'll be down to two puppies. Is your dog your best mate? My dog is my best mate. Yeah. I have to admit that my dog's pretty special. <laughs> but for every dog that's here, they are special to their own handler. And that's the really nice part. So our own personal lives and so forth doesn't matter. It's how you treat your dog and how your dog respects and looks after you.